ready. I'm with you to the end. In the teasers for Venom, The Last Dance, Venom 3, No, the most formidable antagonist ever to appear in Sony's Spider-Man universe, was recently revealed. In his first two movies, Tom Hardy's Eddie Brock and Venom encountered a good number of enemies. The most notable of which occurred with Woody Harrelson's Carnage in Venom, Let There Be Carnage, wherein Carnage was slain by Venom after it consumed the malevolent and demonic symbiote, Venom's voyage in his last standalone film is shrouded in mystery, despite a brief detour into the MCU for the post credit sequence of Spider-Man, No Way Home, the first full photograph of No, who seems to be Venom. The Last Dance's primary antagonist was released by Sony Pictures. Fans can see a huge, boozy throne in the center of a room filled with several symbiotes and made of material resembling venom in only a few frames. Upon closer inspection, the villain's long hair cascades over his face while he is peering down at a hand covered in claws. He appears to declare, everything will end as long as venom lives. However his exact appearance on screen is still unknown. Point one of the most formidable antagonists from the larger Spider-Man mythology may be found in the pages of Marvel Comics, no. He is most recognized for having created all symbiotes, which includes the first two films Venom, Riot, and Carnage when he first emerged following the universe's demise. The Celestials cast him in the role of King in Black, ruling over a realm of darkness. Then, having created All Black the Necrosword, first shown in Thor, Love and Thunder, he destroyed one of the Celestials. As a result, he was sent into the void with the severed Celestial head, which would later become nowhere in the comic books. Given that Sony's Spider Man universe is still being maintained apart from the MCU and that nowhere appears in the Guardians of the Galaxy movies, this will undoubtedly develop differently in Venom, The Last Dance. After the first Venom 3 teaser from June showed the presence of Toxin, another incredibly potent symbiote, this one confirmed the presence of at least one more villain in the movie. In Venom 3, what will happen to Null, it appears that many people are surprised by Null's arrival in Venom 3. There is a real concern that, like all the other villains in Sony's Spider-Man universe, he might just be limited to a single film, despite his status as the originator of all symbiotes in the comics but regrettably, this movie might be the best opportunity for Null to establish himself because Sony owns the rights to so many Spider-Man characters, and that ownership doesn't seem to be changing anytime soon. The author of the first two movies will be determined to bring Venom or the universe to an end after witnessing the mutually reinforcing threats they presented. It is still unclear in Venom 3 what Null is specifically pursuing after Venom informs Eddie, we have something he needs. On the other hand, it clarifies the unexpected symbiotic invasion that Eddie and Venom encountered in earlier teasers. By the time the movie ends, it's possible that Eddie and Venom will be permanently split up since Null will employ that army to find Venom and obtain what he needs. Nothing more has been confirmed for release outside this movie in Aaron Taylor Johnson's Craven the Hunter, which was postponed until December. As the culmination of the Sony franchise in 2024. After that, fans will be eager to discover what else this universe has in store, Venom. The Last Dance will be released on October 25th in theaters. That concludes subjects, unlock the mysteries of narrative with our YouTube channel's guide to the art of cinema. Join us as we explore the plots, characters, and pure enchantment that movies bring into our lives. From writing to screen, we have you covered. Join us as we examine, evaluate, and celebrate the magic of movies. For more videos, subscribe to our channel.